Yeah, I'm going to do a lecture about thoughts. I've been studying thoughts. Um, not exactly brain surgery, but something similar. <laughs> then I scroll and find out things about thoughts. I've been working on uh, uh, four different projects where I made a book and lecture like this. And uh, uh, the other project is like I made a book and lecture about breath. And then one is about that without meaning and about the innermost. And I'm working on two more projects, one about time and one about uh, potential and energy. So then I thought I'd go about it. <laughs> <laughs> I also made a, a few years ago, before I made all this, I made a project about everything. <laughs> it's also similar, a bit more complex than this part of the similar thing like this. But then I divide it up and do, like, see what's going on there. <clears throat> so, thoughts, I. Yeah. Thoughts look like this. This is a little thought, a very tiny one. And they, thoughts, they develop a little bit like human. They, they start tiny and then they, they grow during time. So, after a while, they go a bit bigger. Right? They, they have this kind of shape, more or less. <laughs> and there is many thoughts, loads, plenty, all over. Not all over, but they all. We see it in the, in the place we call the tote bag. <laughs> so loads of tote live inside the tote bag. Like it's more or less. Much more thoughts than I can destroy, but it's the whole all in there. And it's uh, loads of tote bags around. And the different thoughts in different tote bags. And then, Tote bag is like you have it inside here and then it's the surf surface. Here. And it's very popular for the toes to be to, to go to the surface. So, <laughs> so they, they are visual to the other toes, toe bags. Huh? So then the, the toes bag can see each other more or less. So some people, some toes stay inside, but most of them want to be on the outside like that. Some thoughts, they just like to be inside, never want to go to the surface. They just like to hide deep inside the thought, like just kind of stay there safe and away from, you know, nothing visual. But sometimes these thoughts have they've been called up to the surface by other thoughts that find them. Huh? And then they have to come up to the surface. There's no way that can and show themselves to other thoughts. Even if, even if you don't want it, too late now. <laughs> thoughts, they, they, you say they uh, develop, or they, like, they uh, uh, duplicate, that thought duplication. That's one of the ways they, they kind of uh, make themselves more. Like, like, <laughs> they actually sexualize, but it's, you know, so one thought made like that, and that's another thought that, and then the same thought can move over to the other thought. Right? It's not like it's, it's not a line actually. It's, it's just to show it's moving over like that. Okay? So then it, it's kind of like a clone. It's the two same thoughts in two different thoughts. Right? That's the most common way for thoughts to develop. Right? And also, like, if loads of tote bags are in the same room, one tote bag can kind of, you know, duplicate its sort to lots of other tote bags if they, you know, if that thought show itself to the other tote bags. Very efficient kind of way to do it. And also very, yeah, the most used one. And also, if two thought bags are in the same room for a long time, huh? <laughs> then the, the thought will duplicate both bags. So some thoughts come from 
that one or the other one, and, and so they will have the same, lots of the same thoughts, which they show which other in certain things. And after, yeah, very long time, <laughs> loads of thoughts when you live on that. But there also will be some thoughts that may not want to go into the other thought like this one. <laughs> this one don't want to go with this one. That is something we call maximum about. It's like the thought may become more or less the same, eh? because if they're together for a long time, they will look the same in there. But there is a limit. It's like some thoughts won't be able to do the same as a thought that. That we call maximum about. As you see, this one goes round and this one don't want nobody wants this one. Thing like that. <coughs> this is the thought that I'm not telling me. Huh? See this is how they look They're very simple. They have the torso, the stomach and the and the, the legs and the knees. Actually the knees are the most important part of the body. <laughs> And also they get feet. The feet come here. Feet come in the, you know, between the legs. And then after a while, they get more. It's not something they kind of walk around with, but if the occasion be the right, feet will start growing. It's like chops and ropes. And then, because they are cannibals, cannibalism is very common and very accepted among thoughts. They can eat each other. So, when two very different thoughts meet, then the one who managed to produce thought is first will be able to eat the other one. <laughs> so, that means this one is a bit slow. <laughs> this is much faster kind of developing, so it's like a very practical kind of <coughs> Hopefully this one is a very nice one. And this one is not very good thought. But it's not, it's not like moral in this thing, actually. But the, a very nice thought, which is a good cannibal, is a very a good thing. And you know, we don't really <laughs> manage to see what's going on before too late. And then you see in the in the stomach of the thought and part of other thoughts we need to go. So up that's it. Like inside here, this is one part of some thought, and I'm believing about this part, this thought, which again, believing about this thought. Right? thought. There's three layers of thought. You saw this kind of thing laying in the stomach of the thought. Part of the thought. Right, of the thought. Sometimes, not so, but sometimes we have something called a stubborn thought. If, you know, sometimes when they one thought eat another thought, <laughs> both thought can develop teeth. So maybe one of the other thoughts have some teeth. Because they go very quickly, these things. So then they can also eat very quickly, so so it's not chewing well. <laughs> so it will be part of a thought with some teeth inside the stomach. And that can develop. It is a little bit life left. This one can start eating other bits of thoughts in the stomach. <laughs> See, it's getting bigger. <laughs> and bigger, you know, by eating this. And then, in the end, he gets a little stomach by himself. For all his eating. And so, it's a big thought.
stomach and a little talk with the stomach inside. <laughs> so this is a stubborn talk inside because don't want to die. It's kind of still a little bit like that. And then, you know, only one man thing happened to them. This will be very surprised. He <laughs> will be so surprised and then he will easily be the target for the for stubborn talk. <laughs> and then it's not socially accepted very much to, to be a stubborn dog, it's not really. So they try to walk around and pretend there's nothing. Pretend they are normal thoughts around the eating itself out. So a little bit more about the tortoise, which is the most important thing. Uh, because it's very important for tortoise to have very good flexible knees, you know, because to... they need to move around in the tote bag and meet other thoughts and you know, in all kind of in discussion with other thoughts and you know, be updated on things. And, um, so that's very important that they have, they, they can move and have you know very fast around. Sometimes. When they get old and they can't get very stiff knees. <laughs> and then it's like an evil circle they come into. Because it's stiff knees and they don't really move so much and you know and they don't develop. You know, they become a little bit old fashioned kind of they don't really uh, and then they kind of think I should be allowed to take it easy, enjoy life and the view from the surface. It's so stressful, stressful moving around all the time, as if I need to think something new. That's kind of, you know, old thought, kind of. And then it's very dangerous. Because then, <laughs> it's like a little so far thought coming, it's like a little thing come up around here from there. So, so support like a so far. So far, vaults. Because it's looking a little bit like a vault. It's like a disease in the vault. And that is. The so far vault, oh, I'm so big and important. It's only natural and fitting that time. Other smaller thoughts should make a thought so far for me. So that I can rest, I deserve it. Um, but that, that's the infection kind of, of the thought. In that is thought. So that then suddenly, this is the only thing you see. Then, see, it's kind of the fact, the whole thing. The whole thing. Not the sofa, sofa, sofa. That is, you find some smaller thoughts which is not really know what they're thinking yet. So they, they kind of open for anything. More so they make a sofa, we make a sofa. They, oh, yeah, sofa, you can make sofa. <laughs> they make sofa. <laughs> Nice big sofa for the tour. Then put the sofa, put the tour in the sofa. It's everything very happy. So, but inside here it's like it is. You can't really see that because they're inside the sofa, but it's like alarming, alarming danger signs. Huh? You don't really see that because they're inside. But even if you were able to see them, the tour wouldn't really see them because they're so into sofa. I thought it was, you just think it's kind of pattern or something. Very dangerous stuff. Because it, it's, they have some kind of communication with the, the wolf. So it, they send up this kind of snakey stuff, so thread coming down to the danger sign. And then it's all, you know, connect down. You know, it's, and then slowly. <laughs> The thought melting to the sofa, more or less. So, in the end, you don't really know what is the thought, what is the sofa board, what is the sofa. It's all like one big stuff there. This is, that's why, you know, two pieces is very important. So, in the end, it's, you know, it's become a very easy target for, for our thoughts to be done. That's the 
less well than him for that kind of situation. Sometimes these small folks who don't really know what they're thinking yet, they, they kind of forget themselves a little bit in the production of the sofa. So they start jumping in the sofa and they think, this is the meaning of being a thought. You know, jumping in sofa and sounds, this is the best thing they can do. So they think, you know, it's fun, it's, you know, it's, you know, it's physics and it's, you know, they don't really see any other, so they think the sofa is for them, and this is it. They forget about the, the sofa and order, the, the, the thought order the sofa. But this is also dangerous for the little thought because there is this danger signs and so we will be eaten up. And then in the end they kind of swallow what this thing, big thing. This big thing can swallow a lot of thoughts so it become like a big marshmallow kind of thing inside the thought that sometimes it can be a loaf of this kind of weird shapes, so it's become very difficult for thoughts to communicate that. There's too many of these so far stuff. Yeah, not good. Yeah. And then, uh, again, talk a little bit about, yeah, we, I'll show you the, how they, uh, they duplicate that. So now we see uh, two other things they, they develop. First, the, the thought duplication. This is, you know, we have this sort of that. And then after a little while, it's becoming both. Huh? So it's not there, but then this is one thing. This is much more simple than the, the most normal way to do it. Another thing is sneaking, something we call sneaking. While one thought eats another one, there's a lot of vibration in the feet. Huh? It's go very quickly, of course, but it's chewing. And then during this operation, become a little hole here in the end of the feet. And then it will pop up. It's like the little thought of the big one. Without the big thought knowing, it becomes give birth to a new thought, which is exactly the same as this big one. But smaller and like uh, not the same history anymore. It's the same, made of the same stuff. But it will go its own way. They might be different after some time. But this is also, it's not that, it doesn't have, happen all the time they eat, but sometimes they And the third thing is, we call it about becoming, becoming to be, coming into being. It's like there is some thoughts there, and suddenly there's another one. And, and uh, uh, there's a lot of theory about how this happened, like this, you know, Ghost thought we just got something there. There's <laughs> uh, three theories about this. This is the most common, the energy theory. It's like if there is thoughts here, like together, and then like they kind of give energy to this space, and then suddenly it becomes a thought out of this energy. Right? That's why you know, most people think that's uh, also this one. The, Historical duplication theory. <laughs> that is, you know, in the thought that you have this, yeah, and, it's, and suddenly there is like a space from the past. <laughs> you know, entering the thought that. And then suddenly it's a, it's a thought from the past kind of entering into the space in the thought that at the past space. And then the kind of past space disappear, but the thought still is there. <laughs> it's an old thought. Maybe not from this thought type, but it's a, it's a thought that existed somewhere in the past. And then suddenly it's in this thought. Right. And then the last, the last <coughs> theory is about the future duplication the theory. Not so many are into that, but I believe this is also actually something. And it's like a, a future space will uh, kind of occur in the thought back. And then in the future space, the thought from the future will come. And then uh, the future space disappears, and the, the, the thought from the future.
the answer to another phone back, they, you know, they kind of knew that. And then they, they develop. Through meeting other thoughts, they, you know, change and grow. Or even that. Is there such a thing as thought elbows? <laughs> I haven't found any evidence of that. <laughs> yeah, I understand now, yeah, now. But it's no, maybe, no, I haven't really. But they might be pushy in some way, some, I guess. And there's an old head? Head. No, it's not really head, it's like it is body more like. <laughs> it looks like this. I uh, the shape I found in the book I was uh, uh, I made four years ago. They entered the bad book about the copy. Party that didn't take place. <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot of project uh, discussions between the coffee and things. And then there was a lot of thoughts entering that. And so that's, from that, they actually come into this project. Do you have a meditating thought in your system? I guess they all have that, I guess, more or less. I haven't sorted out the thoughts so much about what inside them. That's more like I've been looking at how they move and how they develop and, and, and uh, yeah, not like what's in them, not like the of them. I've been making a book, another book which I call that without meaning, uh, which I also talk a lot about meaning. Uh, I talk about meaning and I talk about meaningless and that about meaning. Um, so then it's a lot about how the meaning is put together. So the meaning, I was thinking later on, the meaning is actually put together with loads of thoughts that uh, become one meaning. And that's also have their own way of moving around. <laughs> Actually, the, the two projects connected without a new phenomenon. Yeah. Um, have you ever uh, experienced that the folks just uh, don't eat and don't uh, surrender? <coughs> that they just vibrate and don't know? Yeah. No one knows what to do. What they're thinking? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's also can you know don't thought don't need to eat other thoughts to get through or you know, you don't need to do that. You know, also some thoughts, you know, like height deep inside, not really moving much around, but they can live a long time you know, without really being so social. That's yeah. That's also possible. <coughs> kind of height. No, they don't, not the they don't come out when, when the time is right. <laughs> well, they have, yeah, they can do that. Yeah, not like virus, but it's a tool. You know, they can come out and <laughs> no. They can stay in and then come out. But it's need for, no, no need for whatever. I wonder, <coughs> do they go to heaven when they die? What? Do they go to heaven when they die? <laughs> I mean, is there a, a, a thought heaven? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I haven't, uh, yeah, well, it's more like, you know, they go in the stomach of the other thought, so. That might be the heaven, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, you know, I could work into that. Maybe that's the heaven. <laughs> now, I wonder if it's kind of parallel, there's a kind of parallel place where after they die, they, they go. They go. No, I don't, I'm, 
I don't know. I'm, just, oh, I'm, not, I'm not quite sure. Yeah. <coughs> the only evidence is like this, the stomach stuff. Mm -hmm. Might be the evidence. I can. Well, take, for example, the thought of a, a flat universe. Um, flat universe? Yeah, the idea that the universe is flat. Yeah, not the earth, but the universe. That thought still <laughs> exists. The earth. Uh, yeah, excuse me. Yeah. The earth. That, that thought yeah, still yeah. exists. Yeah. Maybe by been, everybody. But it's been eaten. Alone. By some hands. Some talk back. It's exist. Yeah, say for example, if the universe is flat, but the universe is of uh, the thoughts constant? Huh? Is the mass constant? The mass? Yeah. Like it's so many thoughts? Or? Oh, yeah, but they increase and decrease, but the total mass, if you... Um, some are bigger and some are smaller, but uh, the mass itself, is it constant? Oh, for, for one, you mean? Or for, no, for the, the total. All over the universe? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, it's increasing. It's, it's increasing. getting low, it's growing. Hmm. Yeah. Like a parasite, go <laughs> <laughs> more and more, yeah, dangerous stuff. <laughs> How do you know? Huh? How do you know? Maybe it could be decreased. Oh no, no, no! It's <laughs> growing. It's expanding more, definitely. So think back in time before it was less. Duplication, <laughs> 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 you know. Yeah, but right. when they duplicate, they are essentially the same. So then you could yeah, argue that they are, are indeed the same thought, and so that one thought in two, two Yeah, but then they, uh, 
better than they, they, they develop themselves in these two environments and they become different to them. Of course, they need other goals. So it's getting more and more complex, the whole situation. <laughs> yeah, I have uh, two questions. The first is, have you seen any universal thoughts? And have you seen any thoughts that try to look like other thoughts? Like, um, they try to um, uh, make themselves look, look, look like some, uh, some other thoughts. <coughs> like, come, like, uh, come uh, yeah. something like, like, they meet and then they go closer to that. Yeah, they, uh, present themselves <coughs> something else than what they actually have, like a blue and red thought. They do, like, <laughs> TV, uh, yeah, it's all, yeah, it's all that. Yeah. And that's some try to cheat them. And if it's some universal yeah, thoughts. Yeah, universal sort of thoughts, yes. Um, like, um, but it, like, a blank thought, or uh, like a universal thought, like a, almost like an empty thought. Uh, like an empty thought, or like, mm -hmm. like there's a lot of thought that's in, you know, lots of thought that have the same, more or less the same. Huh? Is that what you mean? Like, no, it's more like um, um, like a um, uh, white paper thought. Yeah, like a white paper thought, yes. <laughs> I don't know, quite sure. The old, the loose which is very similar, but also, but there's small detail that's different, similar one, fairly similar one. Kind of, yeah. And this shape falls? No, they're all perfectly shaped. That's bad news though, but you know. Well, it's this shape, it makes it more than Some, some thought will be mature. It's the sofa thoughts. Or oh, the one that will be eaten. Yes, they obviously will be very mature. Yeah, they, they, well, yeah, they stay in there for long. It, it takes some time to get stiff knees. You know, <laughs> you know the yeah, thought is not born with the stiff knees. Okay. Even if it comes from the past, it's not coming out with stiff knees. Okay. They, they, they take time. Yeah, they all, yeah. And yeah. even they duplicate, they, they knew that. Mm -hmm. They knew that they were not. So, even like a stiff thought, even if you duplicate, it's not that stiff when it comes to the next thought back. Yeah. Do they always eaten by others, or can they eat themselves? They eat, they eat themselves. Yes. No, they, I think they, I haven't seen any of those kind of things. <coughs> they feed it by others. That's the only thing I've seen. It's kind of in the same vein. Do any thoughts ever uh, escape when other thoughts are trying to eat them? Like you get a wounded thought limping around with just one leg? Or? <laughs> no, it's not so much because they, they slow when they get eaten. It's slower than the other one. Okay. That's why they eat eaten so late. So they never, there's never any escapes? No, it's not really any. They, they you know, become in the stomach and they all... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah? <laughs> 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 Should we stop? <laughs>